everyone, we're the Late Night Snack, and today we are going to the movies. Going to the movies, and today we are watching... Jurassic World. Yes. yes, and I have no idea when it came out in the States. We should have probably looked that up before. We should have looked that up. It um, was before today, though. <laughs> yeah, today is August 5th, and it's yes. just coming out today. Today's like the Japan. first, yeah. We're really excited because we've been waiting for this for a long time. Um, I think the buzz on it is kind of ending now because it's been out for so long. Yeah. Um, but we're really excited to see it. Uh, yes. We're going today. So we're going to go today. Um, and since we're going to go to the movies, we thought we'd do a quick video about going to the movies in Japan. Yeah, because it's, it's different. Um, the very first thing is that it's more expensive here. Definitely. Um, we looked at a couple places that were near us. And on average, it's about 1800 regular price per person. Or 1800 yen, which is about... Eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars, yeah. Yeah. So if you thought it was expensive back home, surprise, it's more expensive here. Definitely. I don't know how it is like in California, but I hear it's more expensive out there. Yeah, maybe. Um, but maybe equals that. Um, we're from Indiana, and it's how much? Did you say like. It's around. What, 14? 10, 10 or twelve dollars. I don't know. 14? I haven't got some movies in a while. Yeah, but her, she has a really cheap movie theater chain in her town. Yeah. So it's only like yeah. what four dollars to get into yours. Yeah, super cheap. Um, the price. It's more expensive here, but I feel like there are more specials here, like different Definitely. sales and like promotions and stuff um, like that. So today we're actually, it's Wednesday, mm -hmm. and we're going to go and it looks like, um, we're going to go to a chain called Movix. It's like movie, but with an X, maybe no E. Yeah. Um, and every Wednesday, it's Ladies Day. So ladies get to go in for 1100 or 11, 11 bucks yeah. um, all day. And we were going to go to the, the early show, which is the first show. And that was going to be, for me, 1300 $1, but yeah. we didn't go to it on time. So and so we're going to catch the late show, which is weird. The late show is also cheap. It's going to be 1300 also. Mm -hmm. um, so she'll still pay the 11 I'll pay the 13 Yeah. But um, that's we like that just because that idea is, doesn't, that doesn't exist in the States. Like, usually the late shows are the most expensive right. for us. But I think yeah. the reason being is because, like, um, transportation and late you know or like around 10 o'clock or so mm -hmm. so you have to rely on your own transportation to get back so right. I guess that's why those deals are out so people that do have their own transportation go versus people that don't you know they can hit like the really early show yeah but yeah so uh, there's different deals also this theater has uh, another deal on the 20th of each month it's half off so it's 1100 for everyone um, some theaters have like specials every Monday where it's half off or discounted. Yeah. Of course, there's deals for uh, senior citizens, for children, for students. So you have all these different deals, and we picked a day. Luckily, it was the day that the movie came out uh, to go, where we both kind of pay cheaper prices. Yeah. So um, yes, yeah, so we we uh, it's more expensive, but we're paying less. Another difference is that um, you at, like at least at the theater that we're going to, you don't just get a ticket and walk in and pick a seat. You actually have to pick a seat, kind of like you, when you buy concert tickets, yeah. where you like pick a certain seat and it, like at movie theater, it all kind of. It's almost like stadium seating. It's almost like stadium. You're gonna get a number and a letter, and that's your assigned seat. Right. Um, probably post a picture up now, yeah. so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. Um, but yeah, I, I like the idea of assigned seating. What do you think? I don't like the idea of assigned you seating. You don't? No, because. Are you a jumper? No, I'm not. A, what does that mean? You jump all over the place. No, I don't. No, I pick a seat and I stay in it. But maybe when I'm paying for a ticket, maybe I'm gonna go see an action movie and I think like I'm. I want to sit like way in the front. But then I walk in the theater and I change my mind. Maybe I'm like, oh no, I think way in the back is better. Uh -huh. And then if I've already picked my seats, that's it. I'm stuck. If they've printed them. I can't go anywhere. Yeah. I'm stuck. And then there are things you have to consider like. If you need to use the bathroom, like, you know, maybe you want to be in the middle of the action, but you change your mind, you want to be in the aisle, like, you, there's no room for changing your mind. You mm. picked your seats and period, you know, yeah. so, like... But then you got to do some, like, preparing. I, I like it, personally. I used to work at a movie theater, so I liked that when I bought my ticket that I was going to get that spot. Because you can also buy the tickets online, and you can reserve your ticket online, you yeah. know. So let's say, sometimes, like, the first showing or the midnight showing in the States is always sold out, you know. Yes. Sometimes that, I would see people right. sitting on like the seat, I mean the stairs versus chairs, you know, yeah. stairs versus chairs. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I just like the idea of it and and you'll know how many people are going to be there. So if you see there's a ton of people and you don't really want to go, you can opt out and choose a different showing. Yeah, but, and that's also, true. And also if there's a ton of people, or if there isn't a ton of people, 
um, you'll know that there's not a lot of people, so you can kind of hop around if you're not feeling that your seat yeah. is appropriate for you, for you, if you're feeling kind of sick, if you ate something bad for lunch, you know, you can move to the edge or something. <laughs> yeah, okay, in that situation, like if it's a midnight showing, I totally agree, they need to control it more, but for your average viewing, uh, eh, yeah. I don't know. Although, I actually told one of, one, of, one of my classes that I went to the movies, and they asked me what I thought, and when I mentioned about the assigned seating, the teacher said that not all theaters are like that, that okay. she's been to theaters... Um, that when you just walk in. Yeah. So um, I don't know how common it is. I've only been to the one theater here. All right. Um, but I guess we'll stop it here and then mm -hmm. we'll show you what it's like when we get there. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy our tour of the movie theater or whatever it is we decide to do. Yeah. Uh All right. So we're at Toho Cinemas. And the very cool thing about this place is that they have um, computer kiosks. So you can buy your tickets on the computer screen. You actually don't need to speak with anyone. And um, most of it, or if not all of it, had English, Japanese, um, but, um, text. There you go, text. Had, um, say, English, Japanese text on it. So it was very convenient, so you could order your ticket. Um, yeah, it was awesome. And then we got our tickets. They printed it right out of the machine. Um, it also shows I-4, I-5. That's our seating spots. Um, if you can read some Japanese or in that area, I'll say um, Last Show or Ladies' Night, so they can tell that you bought a ticket according to your um, preference or something, not like a child ticket for an adult or something. So they will check that. But they didn't really care when we went up to get our tickets like cut or anything like that. Finally made it to the movie theaters. Finally made it to the movie theaters. And we're going to get the pair sets. Are you happy? Do you feel like it's been a long journey, Ra? It has been a long journey. We'll tell you about that soon enough. Yeah. We're just getting some snack snacks. And interesting, they give it to us in a nice little tray. Mm -hmm. Yes, not like a paper tray. We went for like a half order, so we get like caramel and uh, like salt, salt popcorn. Yeah. yeah. You seem to be able to find caramel popcorn like everywhere here. Yeah. They really like it. So yeah, we get some popcorn and some drinks, and then we head to the movies. Yes, we do. Okay, so here we are uh, walking to our theater. As you can see, it looks just like your typical theater. All the rooms are numbered and such. Uh, I'm sorry for the poor quality. We didn't want to take a, our, like, our camera there in there because they might think that we're trying to pirate. pirate. And so, uh, yes, I'm sorry for the quality. We had to use our phone. Yeah, so we're going to theater 7, so we're going to take a right here. And when we were walking down this um, hallway, I liked all the displays that they had up, so I had to take my chance and start modeling next to these not-so-attractive guys. And I was happy, and then I got extra happy when I saw this next one, because it's uh, the Attack on Titan display. I was trying to find the way in, um, when I stuck my head in, it said go to the left, so I did. And I go inside, and it was so much happiness, and I get eaten and good times happened and I shake my butt for you guys and I get out yeah these display displays are really cool here in the theater uh, I really like them uh, and so um, on the side of the entrance we've got the seating chart it's really so you can find the where you sit uh, we already know our seats um, we didn't shoot inside of the theater because it looks just like any other theater um, back in America so now we're gonna enjoy the movie Hello! As you can tell, we probably did change clothes. We're wearing all black. Um, but there's a story behind all that. Um, so, when we went to go to the movies to go watch Jurassic World, um, it's about a 30 minute bike ride to the movie theater, so we get there ahead of time because we wanted to buy the tickets and just walk around the area. And we, I wanted to like film a little bit like in the lobby because it's totally different than like your uh, typical American movie theater, so like I wanted to show you guys all that. Yeah. But but when I we got there, I went up to order the tickets, and the guy was telling us um, that he's like, "Is it all right that the whole thing's in Japanese, like Japanese dub, Japanese sub, like everything there's, was Japanese?" There's um, no English like at all. Or like what? And he's like, "Yeah, there's no English." And, yeah. and we're like, "Ah, yeah. like we couldn't even we can't even explain the, how much disappointment that we yeah. had." Especially since like there like it, Saying that the the place is like thirty minutes like by bike is like under us like under uh, under like a 
estimating because it's a it's a, it's a far bike ride like we got really sweaty if we were to have walked it would have been like an hour walk yeah. so we went really far to this movie theater we were really excited and it was like at night you know yeah. and this is like the last showing at this theater so it's not like we could have like you know cut the next one or right. something and so we were really disappointed we like we kind of built it up all day yeah. you know two months waiting for this point. two months waiting you know our friends in america like posting about this yeah. movie so like we were stoked we, we were like Lorena was like you know what Forget it. Let's just go back. Yeah. It's nine o'clock. I'm going to sleep. Yeah. And I'm like, well, don't jump the gun just yet. <laughs> okay. Words you know? that he didn't say. <laughs> I, I said some other words that may or may have not been so nicely said. Okay. Anyways. Anyways, I was like, you know what? There's another movie theater by where I lived on the opposite direction. Let's um, let me check that on like the website online. So I did. Luckily, they did have one in English. I checked this time. It was in English. And it actually started like an hour and a half later than the late one, the late movie that we were at, movie right. theater that I we think, were at. I think the one that we were at, the movie was going to start at 8.40 and this other one it was like 9.45. Yeah, so we had an extra hour to get there. Or, yeah. Yeah, I mean, since we got there a little early, we, we started, had extra time. So we had extra time. But this movie theater is in the complete opposite direction yeah. that we went. So we traveled 30 minutes away from like where, I mean it was just it was really yeah. far. So we traveled 30 minutes back to the starting point where I live. And then another 30 minutes to get to the other movie theater. Yeah, so we biked a full hour to get to the other theater. We got there with like... 40 what? minutes 40 to minutes spare. to spare, yeah. We got there, like, um, I was a little bit pessimistic. I didn't think we could get there just because we'd never biked there before. And it was like, it was really dark. Yeah. Um, and the bike that I had had like no light. So it was like super dark. Yeah. But we got there with enough time. And uh, you've seen some of the clips, you know, we got our tickets. And um, it was really interesting because this movie theater doesn't actually have like a kiosk where you buy your tickets it's like uh, all machines like yeah. set up so that was something we'd never seen before yeah it was really cool it was all English and Japanese integrated um, so it was, you don't really need to speak to anyone it was really nice yeah about, just push the buttons yeah. but like uh, so yeah that's our story it was just we biked a long time to get to see this movie and uh, I don't know Ref, what you think uh, it was worth the bike ride I yeah. really enjoyed watching it very good yeah very I did tense. too I did too and I'm probably one of those like one of the harshest critics because uh, Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park is like my favorite book like of all time like I absolutely love this book and I love the movies too and so you know when the sequel was gonna come out I, I just I, I was worried that they were going to like ruin like my impression yeah. but it was just I mean it was just so worth it um, it was just such a great movie it was a really good movie what'd you guys think about it we liked it a ton yeah. we're I'm excited for the second one that's gonna come out I, right I don't they know announced it right I right. think they did yeah. yeah so I'm excited for that one mm -hmm. but yeah it was great um, yeah oh, thanks for joining us yeah. on our like on our movie theater tour um, yeah. tell us what you thought about the movie post in the comments um, if you want to see um, more videos like this let us know in the comments don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks for see watching. Bye. See ya. Peace. It was great because you can do so many different things. One of the things you can do is visit Takashita Street. I personally like Takashita Street for the variety of shops that you can find. Uh, there are sometimes different stores.